Mariano Guadalupe Vallejo, military commander of California, was born on July 4, 1807. He was the eighth out of 13 children, and his parents were Maria Antonio Lugo and Ignacio Vallejo. He knew Spanish, Latin, French, and English, and he was mentored by Governor Sola. Many of Vallejo's leadership skills came directly from Governor Sola, and he became military commander of the San Francisco Presidio in 1833, and was then promoted to Commandant General of Alta California in 1836. Once Vallejo became military commander of the San Francisco Presidio, he immediately began to organize and prepare for possible invasions throughout California. Beginning with protecting California from Mexican and European invasions, Vallejo placed emphasis on Sonoma, Monterey, and San Francisco. Not only did Vallejo work with the help he had, he set out to inspire a generation into the cause of preventing foreign nations taking over California. Even though Vallejo imprisoned prisoners, he was compassionate to them, demonstrating that compassion is also a demonstration of military strength, which he wielded expertly in order to persuade his enemies to leave California alone. Apart from facing military challenges, such as protecting the territory of California, Vallejo demonstrated strength in social disputes, such as resolving the issue of Native American children being kidnapped to be sold as slaves in 1838. After some deliberation, Vallejo realized the best thing he could do was arrest the person responsible for taking the children, Chief Solano, even if this would hurt his image among the other Native American tribes. Vallejo was able to change Chief Solano's mentality in order to do what was best for the Native American children, who had been kidnapped in order for them to become slaves. As a result, the children were returned to their parents since Vallejo compromised by giving Solano a shorter crime sentence in order to obtain the children. Perhaps the most significant reason behind Vallejo's importance in American history can be found in his own words, such as a speech presented at the Monterey Junta, or meeting in which local leaders discussed the future of California. During this meeting, Vallejo spoke in favor of California becoming part of the United States, rather than becoming part of Mexico or any other European country. In his speech, Vallejo's use of rhetorical questions demonstrated his ability as a speaker, as well as showing his ability to lead campaigns, such as the campaign supporting California becoming part of the United States. A quote from Vallejo's speech reads, We shall not become subjects, but fellow citizens possessing all the rights of the people of the United States and choosing our own federal and local rulers. We shall have a stable government and just laws. California will grow strong and flourish, and her people will be pr prosperous, happy, and free. Vallejo provides the audience at the meeting with possibilities such as a fair and just government, essentially a democracy, in order to persuade them to consider looking towards the United States for protection and ruling. Although most people might argue that Vallejo should not be remembered more than any other military commander, it is important to remember he single-handedly juggled situation compromises and political campaigns, all during a time in which there was no secure and set government. Regardless of differing opinions, Mariano Guadalupe Vallejo proved to be a vital part of California's and the United States history, indicating the significance and power he held during his time, which he should continue to be remembered for.